Whoa, jeez, holy crap. I hope the GoPro caught that. What is going on everyone? So today I'm just in the mood to catch a lot of trout. Every once in a while you just get in one of those moods where it's like, I just want to go out and catch a lot of fish. So I'm gonna try and do that today with some trout. Let's just have a fun day with it. I'm just gonna go out and catch some fish. So let's see what happens. One eighth ounce jig head right here. All I do is uh, improve clinch knot. So wrap it around five times and then take the tag end back through the hole right there. Pull it a little bit and then back through the top loop. Wet it, tighten it down, good to go. Put the tag in, right in there. Push it through, that little guard right there. And there you go, good to go. All right, let's try this grass flat. Never really fished this area too hard. What, did I just get cut? I just got cut. Something with teeth. Huh. Well, let me go retie. Let me try and put like a little uh, mirror lure on or something. I'm gonna try this lure. I think this is a mirror lure of some kind. I'll look it up and put the exact like name of it or whatever in the description, but it's just like a subsurface kind of twitch bait. Kind of like a, a mirror lure, just like a different profile or a, a mirror Dean, I mean. All right, let's see if anything wants to eat this. Whatever had teeth will probably eat this. I'm guessing it's either a mackerel or a bluefish. There's actually been a good amount of bluefish around here. It just looks like a little mullet darting around. How fast does it sink? Relatively fast. I'm cast it on and let it sink for like five seconds. You can bomb this thing. Oh, there we go. Fish on. Is that a trout? Yeah, it's a trout. There we go. Nice little trout. Come here, dude. You're definitely not what cut me off before, but I'll take it. Whoa, Jesus. Mr. Osprey, calm down. Holy crap. Get out of here, dude. That just scared the crap out of me. I saw him out of like the corner of my eye. Yeah, it's a decent little trout. Probably like 17 inches. I uh, 16. 16 inch trout. All right, get away from the osprey. See you, dude. Where'd you go? Dude, you're a little rat. That was crazy. Yeah, when the sun's out, like it is right now, you can see where the grass is. So I'm on like a little sandy, sandy patch here, just casting it onto the grass and working it back. Once I go, for a little bit here and want to move i'm just going to pick up the power pole and let the wind drift me over the grass flat so i can just work a new area like i said i never have really fished this flat very hard come out here for like to catch pinfish and stuff but never really came out here to fish i was seeing mullet when i was coming over here so i knew that that was a good sign there we go that's a fish another little trap Oh, he came off right there. That was a tiny trout. That's why the little trout would eat a bait like this. Got something and I didn't even move it. That's crazy. Literally casted it out and this trout ate it without moving it. Decent little guy. You just needed it to fall right in front of your face, huh? Well, like 15 inch trout. All right, see you dude. All right, so all I'm doing is, as you can see, this bait sinks relatively fast. So I'm gonna cast it out and I'm fishing about four feet of water. So I let it sit for about five seconds after I cast it to let it sink down near the grass and then just give it like two or three pops and then like a one or two second pause. That way, the bait's kind of, there we go. <laughs> oh, I got hit. That way the bait's kind of darting around, but then the second or two pots just lets it uh, fall back down to like the right uh, depth, right above the grass. And a lot of the times you'll get bit on that pause. Yeah, this bait's coming in clutch. Just like a silver with some like black dots on each side, dark back, white bottom. You can already see the 
paint's starting to chip on it, starting to get some battle scars, but I'm pretty sure I found this lure like hooked onto a dock that someone broke off with and I picked it up and just put new hooks on it and now it's catching fish. I love it because I can just bomb this thing. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and lift up the power pole and just drift about like 30 yards and put it back down and fish that area. Oh, I got hit there. Come on. Oh, that was a good hit. Come on. Just eat it. There we go. That's a better one. Oh, it took him so many times to eat it. I'm here, dude. Oh yeah, that's a solid fish actually. That's like 17. Looks like I barely got him hooked. Come here, dude. Oh yeah, that's a, there it goes, yeah. I kind of wanted that to happen because the less you touch a trout, the better for their slime. You want to protect their slime. So that was about a 17 inch trout. Basically caught him, so I'm happy with that. A lure that I found under a dock. I wish I had like the footage to go back on to show you guys me finding it under a dock. I was on my kayak and it was just like, the line was wrapped around like some piping under the under the dock and they just broke off and it was just hanging there. So I took it mostly to like make sure like a bird doesn't get snagged on it, but I was like, hey, free lure. So I just put new hooks on it and this is the first time I'm using it and it's catching trout. Oh, I just got hit there again. There's one. No, ah came off. That felt good. Oh my God. <laughs> Something just smacked the crap out of this lure out there. Almost took the rod out of my hands. Holy crap. I guess I was like a jack or a bluefish or something. Oh yeah, this, this lure is getting some battle scars. I'm liking it. There's one. No, why do they keep coming off? How do you come off with freaking six hooks on a bait? Like brand new hooks too, come on. There's one. There we go. A lot of these uh, like 15 inch trout around here. I'm loving this lure right now. This is exactly what I wanted to do today. Just come out here and just catch trout. All right. Now they're like 14, 15 inch trout right there. See you, dude. This lure is ow. Those hooks are not dull, I'll tell you that. There we go. This lure is killing it right now. Yeah, you can see we're in three, three and a half feet of water right here. And this is right on the grass flat. So letting it sink for that like four seconds is perfect. Oh, come on. There we go. No! Ugh. Excuse me, Mr. B. Can you not fly on my face? There we go. There's a fish. It's a little trout. Hey, bud. There you go. See you, little dude. Oh, that was a good hit. Oh, there he is. No! That was a good trout. I saw him come up and eat it. No! No, 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 no. Can't be missing fish right now. Oh, there's one. I hope the GoPro caught that. That trout coming up and eating that because I saw that, like, the whole thing happen right there. That was cool. He, like, came up, missed it, turned around, and smacked it. Come on, pop off. I don't want to touch you if I don't have to. There you go. See you, dude. <laughs> Thanks. So I hope the GoPro is picking it up right now, how there's these patches of grass right here. So you can see there's a patch right there, and then there's a little section of sand right here, and I'm on another patch right here. And these trout are positioned right on the edges of the grass, kind of looking into the sand. Because what they do is they can hide in the grass, and then they ambush anything that comes like toward them over the sand. 
and that's exactly where that trout was and that bigger one that I missed before. They're both on the edges of the grass. So I like to cast my bait like into the sand and then work that inside edge of the grass back. There we go. Seems like a decent one. I casted it pretty far onto an edge of the, the grass pod over there. You hit it pretty quickly. I'll be like 16 inches. Ah, now probably like 14, 15. Got him on the back hook. Come on, pop off. You know you want to. Thank you. So I think that's gonna do it for today. This lure right here absolutely crushed the trout today. And it's exactly what I came out here to do. I just wanted to get as many trout as I possibly can. And I'll have that lure listed down in the description below. I'm sorry, I don't know the name of it off the top of my head. I found it under a dock. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. That would really mean a lot to me. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.